Welcome back. For many folks going through chemotherapy for cancer treatment, losing hair can be part of the process. It's a very public part of cancer and chemotherapy, but there's an option for some patients. Of course, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and today we're introducing you to a patient who didn't have to lose her long locks while battling cancer. I didn't even tell my daughters at first. I was like, okay, I have to figure out how to, how to say this. Kay Walker heard the phrase, you have breast cancer, last October after a routine mammogram. Needless to say, her world was rocked. And her rock is this woman. Kay, how are you? Dr. Michalina Cairo, breast oncologist with Texas Oncology, has seen Kay since her diagnosis. And she's always positive. She's very, she's very pro-patient. She's just really on, on top of all of the all of the latest things that are, you know, that are going on. And to me, that's super important because clearly we're making new breakthroughs all the time. Over the last year, Kay has had several rounds of chemotherapy and is still undergoing treatment. But it was a medical breakthrough that Dr. Cairo shared with Kay that allowed this very private woman to undergo treatment without many people knowing. I was hopeful, but I was skeptical. Kay didn't lose her hair during chemo thanks to this device, the Paxman cold cap. For the most part, yeah. no, no one can tell. Even me as a medical professional, I know which patients of mine are cold capping. I know where they are during chemotherapy. I know that ordinarily they'd be bald and they're walking in with long hair. It's really impressive. The Paxman cold cap is uniquely fitted to the patient's head and works by lowering the temperature of the scalp immediately before, during, and after chemotherapy, which reduces blood flow to the area around the hair follicles and works best for people on a taxane-based chemotherapy. Texas Oncology was actually part of the clinical trial. Uh, the trial started in 2013 and concluded in 2016, and then the data was presented at a major national conference in 2017, and it was approved by the FDA not long after. And most recently, this is exciting, it's been made part of the NCCN guidelines, the National Cancer Network guidelines, as a category 2A recommendation that women be uh, offered the opportunity to have scalp cooling be part of their treatment. It is a commitment to add to an already demanding schedule for someone with cancer. The gel cap's already been fitted and has been ordered specifically for each patient. Then that gel cap is cooled by being attached to a cooling machine and it's cooled for 30 minutes before chemotherapy, during chemo, and for 90 minutes after. The results are that most women are keeping most of their hair. Hair sheds normally on a schedule, so there's still some natural hair losses. And some women might notice that it's a little bit thinner, but the women notice it's a little bit thinner. Everybody else thinks they look great. The cold cap gives people the option to not have to lose something else to cancer. Cancer takes so much from you. And as oncologists, we demand so much of our patients. You're going to have to do this test, and you're going to have to go through this procedure. And you might have to lose a breast. And you might have to have radiation therapy. And we ask so much of patients that if she gets to keep something that's hers, that's something really powerful and meaningful. Kay had tremendous support from her daughters to help her through the treatment and is thankful to keep some normalcy throughout her journey. Even though it seemed so long because it was every three weeks, it was actually only six times in total. So so if you if you look at it that that way, then definitely those hours are, were well spent because I instead of having hair like this long now, you know, it's still this long. There are women who wear their breast cancer as a badge of honor and I applaud them and I salute them. And there are women who would like to keep it more private and I applaud and salute them too. And I'm happy to support both women in their cancer journey. It's really incredible. Here's a picture of Kay with her two daughters, her pillars of strength, as she likes to call them. And um, she just shared this photo with us. This is Kathleen and Mary, her two daughters. And uh, she says cold capping, you know, the doctor said it's for men and for women. So it's not, I know this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We're focusing on Kay, but it is for men too. And as you heard in the piece, it's also for people on a taxane-based chemotherapy. They're going to be the best candidates when it comes to cold capping. What an incredible advancement. And I love right. her sentiment too that folks who who go bald, right. that is absolutely beautiful, but it gives patients another option. Absolutely. Kay's a teacher and she works around young children and she said she just wanted to not have to answer a lot of questions yeah. during her treatment. And so her that was her option. Great. Yeah. Glad she got to keep it. Yeah. Very nice. All right.